Good morning. Well, we've decided to stay in Kinver another day. We'll probably only be here once in our lives, so let's take the opportunity to explore the edge a little further. And in particular, some fascinating houses. Here's the River Stour, our companion. All the way to Stourport, I su suspect. And here we are at Kinver Village Centre which is very pleasant. We have all the shops and all the amenities, chip shop, grocers, bakers, co-op. Um, so everything you need really. And it's a, and it's attractive little village high street, very nice. So this is what we've come to see. These houses that were built into the cliff and lived in until 1960 apparently. Just going to stroll through this wildflower meadow and then take the steep route up to have a look at the houses. A house cut into the soft sandstone where people lived 200 years until the 1960s. Here we have the 1930s version, shortly before the houses were condemned. They had no running water, they had no electricity, and they had no flushing toilets. People hung on there until the 1960s, apparently. Taking a picture of you eating the lemon drizzle and the view. Okay, after that fascinating view of those houses cut into the rock, let's climb to the very top to the old hill fort through these gorgeous woods. Worth the climb for this stupendous view. west to Shropshire and somewhere out there is the Shropshire Union Canal where we were last year. I can't spot it, don't suppose you can either. Just a stunning view. Just uh, walking along the Staffordshire Way now, along the edge, these wonderful views. Well, after a bit of a trudge down a very pleasant lane, we are now coming back into Kinver, where there is a pub that sells award-winning ales. As I said earlier, we're probably only here once, so we should try some of those, I think. Batham's award-winning ales, well deserved. Give it a try. That's the mild. It's quite fruity. Fruity? Nice. Mm. That's mine. I have to have another one now. Lovely. Well, the Kinver Model Railway Society are running trains today. So let's go for a train ride albeit a very small one. <laughs> you not lean. Do you not lean? It's difficult not to lean, isn't it?
it's not a bad morning, although possibly rain later. So we're heading off. Time to leave Kinva and do a short cruise to a spot just outside Kidderminster. Not sure quite where yet. We shall see. Uh, and that sets us up for a cruise to Starport and on to the Severn next time. So let's go. Day, probably only two or three locks today. This is Whittington Lock, and there's supposed to be Whittington Manor near here where Dick Whittington, where he used to hold people up, or whether he used to go for a drink, I'm not sure. But I don't think we'll manage to get there, it's a bit early for a drink. an intermittently rainy cruise on the end of the two-day moorings the 14-day end that is and I think we'll have a look around later but first lunch and while we're having lunch we can contemplate the hole in our pram hood caused by a particularly low bridge which we went through slightly to the left of the midline. Oh no. Anyway, I'm on to Czech Tech and I'm sure they'll come up with a solution that doesn't involve a new pram hood. 
So I've been in touch with the very helpful people at JackTech and they can uh, fix it. Um, so we'll arrange that later in the year. But for now, here is my invisible repair. Wouldn't know that anything had happened, would you? Right, final little explore for this particular tour. And we're going to have a little look at the village of Wolverley, which is said to be quite pretty. Risking a dousing from the uh, sharp showers that seem to be coming across at the moment. So fingers crossed we don't get too wet. Lovely display of flowers on this little uh, green just before we turn right up to the village centre. This is perhaps the standout view from Wolverley. This uh, magnificent church sitting on top of the hill with views out over the valley. What a pretty little village. And here's a little uh, storeroom, I should imagine, cut into this uh, sandstone cliff. So I'm told the backs of these houses are also carved into the sandstone cliff behind them. Although of course I can't verify that as their private residence. Here we are at the lock. Funnily enough, by the lock. Judith's got a pint of Banks. One of her favourites. Well, it's turned out to be a fairly pleasant evening here in Wolverley. We've had a look around, nice place, but now we're going to settle down. And we'll pause here for a little while before starting off on our next big adventure, which is down the Staffs and Worcester to Stourport and on to the River Severn. Hope you come along with us on that one, but for now, if you have liked this video, as always, please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.